but being a landowner is always monitoring and knowing what's going on with your property and your investments. And uh, one of my properties in a different county, they're actually putting a high pressure gas line in on the right of way of the highway. And uh, a lot of people don't understand where that right of way ends and where your property starts. Depending on where you're at, you can own to the center line of a road, you can own to the middle of the ditch line, or you can have an easement that goes further into your property, including drainage easements and access easements for the highway department for the county to work on stuff. So normally one thing you have to watch out for is they'll want to go outside of that right away and they'll ask you to do lay down areas, they'll ask you to do you know access areas and they'll ask you that to areas to dig pits in order to bore under the road and they always offer you very little money and then as construction gets closer and closer it goes up and up and up but the problem is you don't want them destroying your land in order for them to do their project or lessen the value of your land so the piece of property I was looking at today was an investment property in a high income area and this piece of property has a septic repair area and it's three lots and it has two places where you can actually put a septic system so all the lots have to share these two areas and if you allow them to do lay down yards or intrude into these areas and it destroys the perkability of that site then you lose the investment potential of the land so when you're dealing with power company gas company both of which i've worked for in the past you have to be very careful with what they're doing whether they're blasting rock whether they're digging rock and whether they're destroying your land and cutting trees down is one of the value destroying things that can happen on a property so if they go outside the road right away and they want to cut trees down that may impact what you can build on your land. For instance, in the county that this property was in, there is a buffer area requirement, and if you do tree cutting in that buffer area, then you can't develop the land or build something on it for three to five years. It's punishment. So you have to be very careful when you're dealing with these entities. And as always, they want you to give up everything for free and gain nothing because dealing with these uh, gas lines these are high pressure 12 inch and up diameter lines they're not going to do individual taps on your property from a high pressure line like that so there has to be a manifold location near you which means it'll only be for large subdivisions so they're utilizing your property but you're not gaining anything from it. So you gotta be very careful dealing with it and you definitely need to monitor their construction activities and ask questions. So of course I got out and they didn't like it and I asked them a bunch of questions, what they're doing, what their schedule is and all of that so I can be here to see what's going on. So you have to ignore their feelings and do what you need to do to protect you because they will destroy your property and then you end up having to get court, go to court for compensation. And after lawyer fees, you will never recoup the money. Because the first thing in any case like this, and I've been involved in property disputes before, you have to split the cost of a land survey in this state before the case can be heard. So what will happen is if an issue like this goes to court, the court will very quickly order a land survey and they will appoint a land surveyor and each side pays half the cost. So you have to have enough money to pursue anything in court to get damages. And by the time you do that, you're at least ten, twelve thousand dollars in. So it behooves you to be on top of it while they're actually doing the work and you have control. Please comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.